costumes that make it worth sitting through. Located one subway stop away from Tiananmen is Wangfujing, a renowned Beijing shopping street. You'll find many shopping outlets and stores here, but if you're looking for some local souvenirs, do a little exploring, and off the main street, you'll find a quaint little alley full of stalls. Look, it's snowing. Another one. It's snowing at the Great Wall. Look, no children's toy. You come to China, you gotta buy some of these Mao souvenirs. Oops, wrong hat. <laughs> what do you reckon? Bookmarks. Yeah. China art. These are cheap how? Be sure to bargain though and play hard to get a little. That'll bring the price down. Because I love Beijing. And just a short walk away, you'll find a more typical shopping experience. Beijing is a city known for its history and culture, but within what was the old imperial city, you'll also find international brand names. Right there. Oriental Plaza is just one of several shopping malls in the area, and a good place to find familiar brands. Nearby, you'll find the largest bookstore in Beijing, the foreign language bookstore, as well as the artist mansion, if you're looking for art supplies and various other knickknacks. The entire area is pretty much a shopping haven, so keep your wallet in check and watch out, just in case the heat from your plastic burns you. At night, the Wafujing area is lit up and vendors selling food from all over China set up stalls here. From the famous Xinjiang lamb skewers to the more exotic taste of Chinese cuisine, you'll find local delicacies. The vendors are always more than happy to tell you just what you're about to eat. Oh, oh this, smells, this smells gorgeous. It's like beef with tofu and soup. It's Beijing specialty. Giving you free taste. See, I love Beijing people. Hello, okay. noodles, no meat. Yeah, I like meat. This is so good. This is really good. Mm. Yeah. Ever seen lamb testicles? Well, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. Oh, this lamb. Lamb? In the Xinjiang, it's famous. Oh, yum. Hey, that's what's this? Mushroom. A sea mushroom. A sea mushroom? Yeah. <laughs> silkworm. Silkworm? Yeah, it's good for you. You want one? Oh, I eat this here. I like this. Huh? I'm going to go to the Okay, you per, you eat it first, okay. and then I'll eat it next. Deep fried salty silkworm. Isn't it hot? hot? The worst thing you can eat. Oh, yeah. is it hot? Yeah. Hot. Carefully. Okay. Let's see. Deep fried salted yeah. silkworm. Mmm. Oh, good. Carefully. What? Too salty, I love. Very salty. Yeah. The salty is too much. I'm sorry. Mmm, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's pretty good. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to stomach silkworms again. But if I absolutely had to, just to soak in the atmosphere of Food Street, I'd do it all over again in a second. Lao Beijing or Old Beijing is a term used to describe the families who have lived in Beijing for more than three generations. And one afternoon activity that they're particularly fond of is kite flying. And what better way to enjoy an old city than to learn an art form from the locals. I'm getting really good at this. after it. 
around the